Hello, I'm Stan Simpkins on behalf of my partner, Lonnie Shabby, and myself. Welcome to Small Business Virtual Roundtable's Top of Mind Tips. Just a three-minute clip, a snippet, if you will, of some things you probably deal with and oftentimes go, oh, I meant to deal with that. You know, as a small business owner, we've all got tons of things to do, and it's very easy to overlook things. And yet, kind of like a uh, Bearcat scanner for the police, you've got to constantly circle around, circle around, make sure nothing's missed. So we hope that maybe today's tip will be something you can use, and we'd love to hear back from you and see what other things you might likely hear about. Thanks a lot. Hey, everybody. I'm Lonnie Shambi, and for my partner, Stan Simpkins, welcome to Small Business Virtual Roundtable's Top of Mind Awareness, our three-minute snippets that give you something to think about all day long once, you're, once you've heard it. Today, we're going to talk about the necessary chemistry that makes partnerships work. And the partnerships I was talking about are partnerships that small business owners go after to help them expand and leverage their existing resources. And it could be, you know, selling, you know, a, a selling relationship in a market that they're not in. It could be expanding that selling relationship in, in depth, in, in packaging their product with somebody else's, uh, et cetera. It's any kind of partnering where it's a win-win on both sides. But it starts with chemistry. Stan? Yeah, well, that's a great point. You know, Lonnie, we all have heard that expression that relates to networking where we go, people do business with people they get to know, like, and trust. It's really no different than working relationships between people. And as you've said, Lonnie, we're not talking about legal partnership partners. We're no, talking about people no, no. who have relationships of dependency, mutual dependency. Right. Okay. And there's no getting around it. And that, that, you know, people are so focused on getting the job done, coping with the pressures that are being pushed upon them. They fail, which happens in marriages, to work on the relationship part. You know what? It's Partnerships are like dancing. Okay? I, I, I equate it to like, I, I periodically, I don't do it every, every season, and I don't do it even a couple of times a season. But dancing with the stars, where you throw two people together, one who's a professional dancer, one who's maybe can put two feet in front of the other. And somehow they work it out. And the chemistry between them is what drives them to the end point. And with the ones who win are the ones where the chemistry is the best. Well, Lonnie, you know, you make a great point there. You think about it, you're talking about ways to motivate people. What better way than to take someone who is highly motivated and couple with them? with someone who maybe doesn't have that drive, but would be inspired by the role model, if you will. Absolutely. Absolutely. And see, and, and, and partnering is partnering is something that's it's 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 hard because, it you know, you, you, you could see this on the surface, what the relationship might be. But you've got to figure out how that's going to work in reality in business. So I guess the lesson learned for the top of mind awareness today is. Have you been conscious about the chemistry between employees as teams or individually and even yourself? And are you missing an opportunity to capitalize on that? Maybe to do something different. That's the top of mind tip for today. Thanks for being with us. Lonnie Shambi and myself, Stan Simpkins.